Hello, my name is Conrad Gale from the Conrad Gale Review. I'm interviewing one of the hottest young pop rock artists to hit the Canadian, uh, ja uh, Canadian rock scene, Joel Martin. Joel Martin has released 12 albums. He's appeared on Canadian Idol, and uh, he's, a artist, he's an artist representat representative for Metalworks. So tell me, Joel, um, how, how old did you get into music, and what is it about music that you like? I started playing guitar around the age of eight. My dad is a guitarist, so he was always playing, and I got him to show me a few chords. I started singing a few years later, and, uh, you know, it, it wasn't, wasn't going so well at, at the start with the vocals, but with lots of practice, um, you know, the vocals ended up, uh, you know, getting better and better uh, to where I am today. And, um, yeah, music has been a big part of my life uh, since about uh, when I was eight. Okay. And um, fast forward to the Canadian Idol. Um, tell me about that experience and what did you learn most about it? It was actually a great experience. The, uh, f the year that I auditioned it was the first year you were allowed to bring an instrument. So as a singer-songwriter, I was able to go in and, and play my own songs. And uh, it was a great learning experience. There's two million people that watch every episode. Um, that's a lot of free promo that you, you, know, you can't afford to, you know, to, to get out to two million people. That would be quite costly. So that was free promo. Um, made some amazing contacts. Uh, Carly Rae Jepsen was one of the finalists my year. And she's mm. gone on to sell you know, 12 million copies of Call Me Maybe. So um, that's a good contact to have. All the judges, um, you know, one of them, uh, you know, discovered and managed the Tragically Hip. And, um, you know, one of them started the first hip hop radio station in Canada. So these are all great cro contacts to have. So great contacts, good learning experience, developing as an artist, and um, lots of free exposure, which was good. That's good. And um, tell me your inspiration behind your latest recording. I, I love your uh, choice of songs, and I find it's very witty and very poignant and, um, and very funny at times. So uh, tell me your inspirations behind creating your latest record. Um, I spent about three years writing a hundred songs and then uh, I made demos for 20 of them and released them as four free CDs online. So I just got the music out, um, started to create a buzz online with the free demos. Uh, I received a lot of feedback and it helped me decide on which songs to record for the new album. Uh, I think the humor comes from... Um, I mean, before I would release more alternative rock stuff that had an edge to it. Um, and I think over the years, you know, you kind of discover who you are and, and you realize you don't have to be so angry all the time that, you know, you can be happy and, and life is, is a gift. And uh, I usually have a, a pretty, you know, outgoing personality and that wasn't translating to the music. And uh, I, the uh, comedic stuff started with a uh, a Baby Got Back performance on Canadian Idol where I, mm -hmm. I took a, a rap song and I redid it like an acoustic song and um, it had a comedic tone to it and it went over very well and then I realized that that's a tool that I haven't been using if I can put you know kind of my sense of humor and my personality into the songs that uh, it would be something unique. Okay. Um, one more question I have. Uh, tell me um, your favorite artist and why. Ooh, that's tough. Um, my, I guess my three favorite bands are probably uh, Winter Sleep from the East Coast here, um, Pink Floyd and John Mayer, I would say. Um, I love Pink Floyd's epicness and musicianship and, um, you know, the storytelling with all the uh, concept albums. And then um, I love Winter Sleep. Um, again, a, a band from the East Coast here in Canada. They just have really good atmosphere, and uh, they're a full band, and they rock, but there's kind of these acoustic undertones, which are nice. And then with John Mayer, um, he was probably the first singer-songwriter that I really got into, and uh, he's starting to really go country, which makes it harder 
uh, for me to, to tag along for the ride, but uh, some of his earlier albums are, are my favorite for sure. That's good. Well, you can get your music through iTunes and CD Baby. Yeah, it's available as of just a few days ago online. Okay, and is there a is there a tour in the works or? We uh, we just had the CD release party in Toronto at the Rivoli for the album, and the uh, I'm from Ottawa originally, so the Ottawa CD release party is coming up November twenty third at Zayfods, and um, once those are out. I'll be working on a music video for the first single, Discount Sugar Daddy. Mm-hmm. And then after that, uh, we'll book lots of shows to go with it, yeah. Okay. All right, well, this is Conrad Gale. You've been listening to Joel Martin. And um, please continue to check out the Conrad Gale Review at conradgale.blogspot.com. Take care. <laughs>